guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Geraldi Silva and I make videos all about business, finance, beauty, and organization. If that's your type of jam, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also click the notification bell so you do know I don't when so you do know when I do upload and follow me on all my social media. I'm at Geraldi Silva. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. <laughs> all about my favorites for August and please and just a little bit disclaimer I am filming a lot of videos today so if you see the same outfit the same hairstyle the same makeup it's because of that so try not to mind that if that's you know something you I don't know that's like your pet peeve or something of seeing people reuse their outfits in videos sorry not sorry so yeah, so today's video is going to be all about my August favorites and the things that I have been loving in the, in the month of August. Um, I don't think I have done one of these on my channels before and I've been really liking these type of videos so I decided to film one for you guys today. So I have these stuff, the stuff that I love over here and I'm pretty excited about the things that I'm going to show you. So first things first is reading. So I have picked up on the habit of reading that's something i've always have for the goal of like a new year goal new year's goal is to read a lot more um and that usually gets you know destroyed by everyday life of having to do other things other than having the time to read but this uh, past month i really tried to make it a point to read and i did i ended up reading this book um i'm almost done with it i have a little bit left to go but I really did like it. I read it maybe in about, I read all of this in about two to three days. Um, I ended up stopping because I ended up starting my new semester of college of my, well, technically my last semester of undergrad. So I had to stop, but I'm going to try my hardest to try to get through it this, uh, this week. So, but so far so good. This is called the definition, um, definitions of indefinable things. And it's by Whitney Taylor. Um, I found this book actually at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Um, they actually have been bringing in a lot of new books and I actually have a whole collection of them in my closet right now that I'm going to try to read as soon as I'm finished with this book. But this is one of the books that I really, really loved. It's so funny and it makes me just, ugh. It was so easy to read. It was so fun to get through. It wasn't boring whatsoever. So if you're thinking about picking up any books lately, um, this one is something that I would really like to recommend for you guys. And I also have this really cute um, book marker. Um, I got this from a small business vendor. Um, I'll try to link her, um, what's it called, her Instagram down below. Uh, hopefully I'll try to remember her name. But um, yeah, this is super cute and I just use that as my bookmarker for my books. So yeah. And I'm not so for me, I don't really like audiobooks. I hate have like having it on my tablet. There's just something different about holding a physical book that just makes my heart flutter with butterflies rather than just reading it on a tablet. So for me, I'd, and I don't really like to pay a lot of money for books either. So I'm like a cheapskate and at the same time, I don't like tablet ebooks and stuff so i go to dollar tree and i get them for a dollar and they're actually really good books you know so check out your local dollar tree okay so another thing that i have really been loving i've been trying to get more into the mindset of um just being more environmentally friendly as much as possible yes i do still create trash and it it's you know at this point it's inevitable for me because of the whole covid thing i'm trying my hardest to be more in environmentally friendly um i'm still not where i need to be but i feel like i'm making slowly slow progress towards that so i'm really trying to limit my environmental footprint into this world but one of the things that i've really tried to do is to limit so one of the things one of the steps that i took in order to do that was um use reusable cotton pads um these are really good for removing makeup as you know makeup wipes are really bad for the environment and they're really really bad for the skin um so these are the makeup cotton pads that i really like to use um i've tried my hardest to clean these as much as possible makeup residue just stays on there but i mean if i wash them they're clean for me 
Um, but I really, really like these, and I use these with a micellar water. And then it comes in this really cute packaging that I like to store in. This is the Greenzilla uh, 20 reusable cotton pads. So if you're that type of person who likes to use makeup wipes or likes to use uh, uh, single-use uh, cotton pads, I really urge you to try to utilize reusable ones and this one wasn't that expensive I believe if I remember I believe it was like 12 to 15 bucks 10 to 12 bucks on Amazon so not a lot it's maybe a little bit more expensive than what you're used to paying for cotton pads but remember you're paying 10 to 15, 12 dollars to reuse over and over again so in reality you're actually saving more in the long run um, but for me I really really like these and when I wash them um, they don't they, I, they haven't uh, broken down on me just yet so and I've washed these a couple of times and they last me a good I want to say a month before I have to rewash them again so really really good really like that so another thing I've been really liking and this is another thing from Dollar Tree so as you can tell I love Dollar Tree um, is their candles so you guys are sleeping on their candles don't be going out here and buying 10 dollar candles stop it go to dollar tree you guys oh this one smells like island this is called island coconut and if you look at this and i told you like i got this from i don't know marshall's i'm pretty sure you would believe me because of the fact that it just doesn't look like a dollar tree it doesn't look cheap whatsoever and even says it on there lux and style candle and to me this looks very luxurious and it comes in a weighted glass bottle so it's so cute like why are you guys spending ten dollars like i tried my hardest to be like one of those people and be like oh yeah i'm gonna get bath and body works ten dollar candles and i just can never spend the money to do that and i'm like oh, i could just go to dollar tree and get myself a dollar candle and call it a day so this is one of the styles that i really really like if you guys see these these are really amazing or the other ones that come in a mason jar those give off the hugest like the scent will be traveling throughout the whole house they're so good so i like this one and the mason jar ones which i think i might have some if i don't then i need to go ahead and buy some more especially for the fall uh for the fall uh season because they have really good fall season candles don't sleep on dollar tree guys don't they have some good stuff and this is one of them plus the books okay so moving on from Dollar Tree, well actually one last thing from Dollar Tree. Another thing that I've been liking this month is scrunchies. So I know scrunchies have been in for like the longest time at this point, but for me I never really got into the scrunchie train until the month of August. And I've been really, really liking these. These feel a lot more Wait, better on my hair. I really like to use these um, for my hair because it feels a lot more better. I feel like it's not really tugging onto my hair that much. And it's just so like decorative to have on your hand as well. So yeah, I've been really liking these. And I also got this from Dollar Tree. So just saying, I mean, check out your Dollar Tree. If this isn't a commercial, if this isn't sponsored by Dollar Tree, I don't know what is. I'm just kidding. I'm not sponsored by Dollar Tree, by the way. I'm not whatsoever. I just really, really like them. Okay, so very exciting. Another thing that I really, really loved in the month of August was my birthday. I just turned 24 on August 22nd. And one of the things that I got was a ring. And no, I'm not engaged. <laughs> not yet, at least. But um, this ring was actually given from my sister and my son Ian and I have been wearing it all month long and yes I lose it sometimes and I hate myself for it but I'm not very good at wearing rings but this one's so cute so it has my son's and mine uh moon uh what's it called what is it called gemstone like our month gemstone and so on the sides it has his name and on the other side it has mommy on it so I want to thank Ian wink wink because we all know it was really my sister who um bought me this beautiful gift for my birthday and stuff so i didn't get married but i did get a, a ring for my birthday and guys if you don't know it, it actually says my mom and and my name on it oh uh, you can't see it guys but it's really cool <laughs> yeah so not married but I got the ring. <laughs> okay, so.
So that's something that I've been really, really loving, obviously, for the month of August. You've been really loving it. It's yeah. Pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. Another thing that I really like to do is to paint my own nails. So I wasn't really the type of person to paint my own nails, but because of the whole COVID thing, I haven't went out to get my nails done in a really long time. Um, so I've been getting into the habit of painting my nails. Uh, I've recently took them off. I took, recently took off the nail polish. Um, just because I needed to make a video of something that I will show you guys right now. Um, so I had to take them off, but I will be repainting them very, very soon. And this is a color that I've been really liking. And as you can tell, I have been using it because you could see the little spaces in there. Um, so yeah, I really like this color. And I got it at Marshalls for, I believe, $4. Okay, so three more things and then we are done. So another thing that I've been really liking is this Rose Lip Balm from Beauty Concepts. I showed this in my Everyday Essentials bag, but something that I've been really liking is just lip balm, simple lip balm, because, you know, we're not going out, I don't, we're wearing masks, I don't really need to wear a lot of lipstick unless I'm making a video like right now. Right now I am wearing lipstick or a lip gloss, a lip gloss, uh, a, like a pigmented lip gloss. Um, but as an everyday thing, I don't really wear a lot of lipsticks, so a lip balm is all I've been using. And this is the one that I got from Marshalls. It came in a little set of four for, I believe, $5. And it has it's has no pigment to it, but it's in the shape of a lipstick, which I think is really cute. So, And I accidentally dropped it, and it cracked on the top, which makes me really sad. But hey, what can I do? Okay, so something else that I've been really liking, and this is pertain to skincare is the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. So this is something I've always been wanting to try uh, for a really long time and I've been thinking about splurging on it but I ended up they ended up having a 20% off sale so I took advantage of it and I grabbed the travel size of it. So this is how it looks like. I'm sure we all know how it looks like at this point. Um, but I really really liked it. I, I, I bought it and then um, I tried it and I really really liked it and I love the way that it makes my skin look It just very it makes it look so luminous and so dewy and it's very good to be paired with anything that I have as a matte foundation um, Because I mean sometimes I do want that matte look but it's since I do have a dry skin I need to have a really good moisturizer in order to put on matte foundation um, so this is one of the things that I like to use underneath my matte foundations just to give it a little bit more of a, um, a luminous look to it and so my skin is not so dry underneath all that foundation. So the last thing that I've been really, really liking on the month of August is my new lip gloss business. So... I know you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, there's already so many lip gloss businesses. Why would you do that? Because I can and because I want to and because I like to. So I have created my own um, business line. I've been creating my own lip glosses, which I'm very, very excited. They come in four different shades and I'm very excited for it. I just finished the packaging too. I may give you guys a sneak peek. Let me show you. So this is the packaging that I've been working on and my lip gloss is actually in here so pretty um, I made this all myself so I'm pretty excited I can't wait to um, I actually have a whole Instagram it's called biology cosmetics I'll leave it in the link down below and I'll put it on the video here to for you guys to go please and check it out I've already made a couple I've posted up a couple pictures and a couple of videos on the lip glosses that I will be selling and so I'm so excited you guys I can't wait to show you guys everything else so that's what I've been working on in the month of August and in in September I will be launching soon so keep a lookout for that but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My camera's dying, so it's going to die at any point right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, click the notification bell so you do know when I do upload. And follow me on all my social media. I'm at Gerald De Silva and I'm a, and sorry, Anna Biology Cosmetics. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.